Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome new subscribers. I appreciate you stopping by. It's time for another round of wood splitting and exercise. We're getting some rain here today and the splitting wood kind of makes a mess, but I don't really care. I got to get it done, so I'm just going to go ahead and split in the rain and uh, blow it off with a leaf blower and it should be okay. Today, as I'm splitting, I just pick the wood up each log I split and I stack it as I split. So I just noticed as I was re-watching this, I kind of walk off the edge of the camera. So I'm sorry about that, but um, quite a few times I might kind of walk over to the right and stack these logs. And uh, I don't really have that on film because my camera angle wasn't set up right. Um, it's not a huge deal. I just wanted to apologize for that little inconvenience. You can see over to the right, I have quite a few uh, longer logs that are going to need to be cut with a chainsaw. And that's something I've been kind of deliberating about. You can see, like even this log I've been dealing with right now, it has some odd uh, ends. The cuts on the end are not perfectly straight to where it's hard to get them to stand up straight. And I'm running into that a lot, um, especially just on these smaller little ones. I think the larger rounds, they'll stand up. but. Um, I think the best thing to do would be to make 16 inch pieces um, and have what you know cookies because I have a lot of logs that are like 20 inches or 18 inches or 22 inches and it's fallen right in the size that it just is like if you cut it right in half it's it makes two kind of small pieces like two 11 inch pieces which is kind of small or you can go ahead and make a 16 inch piece and just cut the end off and then you only have like a four inch cookie. Um, so I think most people would agree probably to go ahead and make cookies out of them that way it'll all stack evenly and you know I mean they're supposed to be 16 inches so I guess that would probably be the best most professional thing to do when I break out the chainsaw and have to cut them up. Um, let me know in the comments maybe what you think if I should just, if you had a 22 inch piece, would you cut it in half and make two 11 inch pieces or cut uh, 17 inches off of it and whatever, 16 inch, 16 inches off, cut five inches off and have, a, you know, an odd cookie and a regular size stick of firewood. I guess I could just take all the cookies and burn them in my fireplace on, and keep those for myself. Um, it's just kind of a little bit of a hassle, but I also have a fire pit. So, I mean, if I ever, you know, in the fall or whatever, I want to throw them in the fire pit, I could do that. So, that's probably what I should do. Let me know if you agree with me. Thanks. And if you're a loyal watcher and you saw the last video, this is that banana wood that is not splitting. And I'm just going to keep pounding on it until I can get something and it's just not going. It's splitting about four inches down and no more. So I don't know if I'll just burn that hole and give it two years to dry or break out the chainsaw and noodle it in half or what, but I mean really it's almost manageable enough that you can burn it like that, especially in a fire pit. But I would like to give it two years to dry if I was going to put it in an indoor fireplace.
Here again is a log with funny angled cuts on it. And I already mentioned in my last video, this is just the way it is when you have tree service wood and they are not here to make perfect 16 inch firewood for people. Uh, it's just something you kind of have to deal with. They're in a hurry. They're just throwing it away and getting it in sizes that they can throw it in the truck. Uh, so you just kind of have to deal with that. But that's what I was kind of starting to say before too. When I break out the chainsaw on some of those when I'm making 16 inch uh, firewood out of it, I could kind of buzz off some of those angled cuts on the end so I could stand it up and, uh, and split it easier. But also, like I said, too, on the bigger rounds, a big round will stand up. I mean, it's, you have to cut a big round pretty funky to not get it to stand up. But just on these smaller, tall little rounds, if they got an angle, I mean, obviously, they're just kind of hard to stand up.
here's a good example of a piece that could cost you a new window. That's why I put that board up.
I'm good with that right there. That was a ugly little end piece.
that again is a little piece of birch and I grabbed quite a few pieces of birch because they were nice manageable pieces and birch is a pretty good firewood and obviously the bark uh, makes great fire starter but it doesn't keep uh, well for long periods um, I mean it's probably good for about two years and after that it just rots into nothing I mean I've had some out there in my wood pile and it's three years old or so and it's just basically turning into sawdust so it doesn't store real well but for the first year or two it's pretty good firewood That's about it for the splitting today, but all of these long pieces are just driving me nuts, stepping over them and tripping over them, trying to get back in to pick out the smaller stuff. So I'm just gonna kinda arrange these longer pieces that need the chainsaw and get them up out of the way. So the next time I wanna come out and split wood, I don't have to keep stepping over them. Um, and that'll be also, I mean, one of the next times I come out to split wood too, I'll have to use the chainsaw, so that'll be coming up, and I'll just get these cut up. But if you look at those few rounds, not the birch uh, poles that I'm holding, but those few rounds that are leaning up against the wood pile, those are examples of ones that are like 22, 23 inches long, where uh, if you could kind of imagine 
you could cut them right in half and have two decent little pieces of firewood, but they're both kind of short. Or I could cut, you know, five inches off the end and try to make them perfectly 16 inches. Um, and then I'm just going to have to deal with all the off cuts from that. Um, but, you know, I guess if it's my own wood, I guess I should just deal with it and keep it and burn that stuff myself. And then, you know, if I do end up uh, selling some or whatever, I can make sure that people get uh, nice, good 16-inch pieces. I don't know why, but I picked up this little birch branch and started messing with it. Um, it obviously is a crotchy little nasty branch, and I thought I could split it in half. It really doesn't even need splitting. It's birch. It's going to dry within a year. It's a small piece, uh, so it doesn't really even need to be split, but for some reason I wanted to wrestle with it. And I hit it here a few times, and... You know, I think just what I did right here will even help it dry even faster, but it'll it'll be fine to burn next year. I basically just kind of broke it up and, and put a bunch of splits in it and then threw it right back on the pile. But uh, just breaking it open like that to where the middle can breathe will help it to dry, and that little piece right there is fine to burn. Oh darn, my chopping block broke in half already. Um, I'm hoping I can still use this. And there's more of them out there, but they're too heavy to lift for one person. So I have to find somebody out there to help me to get another one and get it into the truck. I mean, I could roll it close to my truck, but I don't think I can lift them. You can see in the last video, there's like a massive sycamore one that's like six or eight inches wide, and it's like 26 to 30, 30 inches across, but it's on the top of the wood pile back in it. I'm going to have to roll it out, and then I can't lift it and get it in my truck. I would like to, and I mean, I kind of feel bad asking somebody to help me, but maybe somebody will be out there one day that could help me lift it. I don't know what to do. Call me crazy, but I'm saving all these little shards uh, for kindling. And again, if somebody buys wood from me or whatever, I might bring them a little bag or something of this stuff to help them get their fires going. Because, I mean, I really enjoy using it. It's, it's more than enough. I mean, if you use a handful of that and a little fire starter, it gets the fire going perfectly fine. So... I don't have a problem using it, and I'll give it away, and I bet other people would enjoy it too and appreciate it. Today, because it's raining, I didn't want to bring my broom out and sweep, so I just tried to use this metal snow shovel to kind of clean up a little bit, and it's pretty loud. I hate to be so loud, 
But I gotta get some exercise and this is how I'm doing it. The leaf blower does a pretty good job of cleaning off the patio, I guess, when it's wet outside. Uh, so it's good enough for today, and when it's dry, I'll do it again. And then if I have to, I can power wash this thing this fall or something and clean it up real good after all this wood's been sitting on it. The last thing that I wanted to touch on is an update on all my plants. Here's my maple uh, trees and something ate a leaf off of one of them when I came out one morning and a leaf was just gone. But you can see how dark they've gotten in color. They're taken on fertilizer and the leaves have brown dots on them though and I think that was from sitting them in the sun. Uh, I took them right out of the forest canopy and put them on my porch right where they were getting blasted with sun and that was too much so I moved them under my deck where they're getting shade. Now here's the boxwoods and arborvitaes and I think something got into the boxwoods one night because again I came down and the lid was torn off and they were dug up and they got all disturbed and they're kind of pushed over to the side. So hopefully some of them make it but I have no idea if they're going to or not. Um, a lot of them look decent but you can see a couple of them turn brown and they're just not supposed to be disturbed. But here's the last project and I put another cup full of water with some arborvitaes in it and under a Tupperware moisture dome. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.